Welcome to another edition of our Basics Podcast, discussing with Ken Ernie the uh, some principles and comments from Coach John Wooden. And this segment has to do with this comment. Things turn out best for those who make the best out of the way things turn out. It's sort of... Uh, uh, acrobatics with the language, but it really does make sense. Things turn out best for those who make the best out of the way things turn out. Ken, what do you think? Well, I think as a coach, um, we do have to coach our players to be prepared for things that are unexpected so that nothing becomes unexpected. I, I would want to say that um, there are some times when things are going to go south, they're going to go sour. And to take a positive approach and be prepared for those is huge. I think of my own mom and my grandmother, and they would say this quote, probably never having heard of John Wooden, or maybe they were, um, that their lives exemplified this. They were two positive people who went through all kinds of chaos in the early part of the century. Uh, you know, the death of a child, the uh, the Great Depression, the World Wars, that whole thing. And yet I can picture them saying this. Make the best of what you've got. That's what we did. Make the best of it. Make the best of it. And it's almost as if when negative things happen, you can turn them into positives in coaching, in athletics. Turning negatives into positives, a constant thing that happens on the court or in the field. And how do you teach kids that? I just think it's a monster lesson thanks to Coach Wooden, that this principle exists in and out of sports for our whole lives. To me, when I see this comment, I'm just knee-deep in this pandemic. I just see the difficulties that these youngsters and society in general is going through, and this comment just nails it. So we, we have a mental strength training service that is really grown and there are three components to the mental strength that is your skill your conditioning and how you think so how you think is one of the three legs of the stool the stool collapses without three solid legs so if mental strength is one of the three principles what if we run into failure what if we run into difficulties and we're not ready well I mean, it doesn't matter how skilled you are. It doesn't matter how great your condition is. You'll fail. So one of the things we talk about with regard to making the best out of the way things turn out has to do with routines. So this pandemic has destroyed the routines of the kids and the parents. There's no school. There's no teams. There's no practices. So these routines, which were built in, must be replaced. They must be replaced. And we talk about building solid routines, which then lead to habits, which then lead to discipline. So making the best out of the way things turn out is just critical, right? We shouldn't shy away from the failure. It's not that we want or, or are planning to fail, but failure is going to come. Adversity will come. Work on your routines, whether it has to do with different study habits, different training habits, weight training, aerobic training, right? Maybe start to uh, play an instrument or uh, learn another language. Build these new routines to help you get through this difficult time. Ken, do you have anything else to add? No, I just would say that I, one of the things I've learned is that struggle is good. And if you lean into difficult times. If you embrace the struggle, um, you get stronger. And and even though that's hard, it's so easy to, to want an easy life, but the pandemic is an example. No, it's not fun to say, let's embrace the pandemic. But the fact is that struggle can make you stronger. Well, that's a great finish to that. And thank you for listening and stay tuned for another installment with uh, Coach Ken Ernie. Thank you.